We are off to Bloemfontein to watch the SA men's hockey team prepare for the Olympics. I'm Wade Payton, South African men's hockey player and midfielder. Yeah, well, we're basically in Bloemfontein for a, a physical conditioning camp. We've basically been working, working really hard in the gym, trying to get our, our strength base increased. Um, we've done a lot of resistance training and it's speed and agility stuff. Hi, I'm Greg Clark, uh, head coach of the South African men's hockey team. Um, yeah, the training for the Olympics. Uh, we're currently in Bloem at a training camp where we're focusing mainly on our physical conditioning. It's an area we haven't been able to spend a lot of time on in the past where we, 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 we marry that with the, the sports science um, together with just sort of putting the hard yards in. Hi, my name is Marvin. Um, I'm a striker for the SA men's hockey team. Yeah, going into the Olympics um, is a fair amount of nerves, um, especially considering our pool we're playing in. Um, there's some tough opposition there, uh, Australia and GB. But I think we've got the guys that can, uh, can achieve something great at the Olympics, which, yeah, uh, in a way is, is kind of, we're going in with a bit of quiet confidence. I mean, uh, I think the players know that I, that I have a lot of faith in their abilities. Um, I think because they believe that I believe it and, and I think I know world standards really well, um, I think it gives them a lot of belief and, and then when we achieve the, the results we have recently, well, then it just really reinforces that belief and, and that confidence. Yeah, I mean that the last the last few minutes in the final in particular were were incredibly incredibly tough. I mean the, the Japanese guys took off their goalkeeper and they actually had an extra player. So we'd spoken about all the the different variations and combinations that they were going to play, but I mean in the last three minutes all rational logical thinking goes completely out of the window when you know that, that it's an Olympic spot on the line. Yeah, the, the taste of success after winning in Japan is I can say it's almost a little somebody throwing bread comes in front of you and teasing. We, we, we are so desperate for success, this group of guys. Um, we've had success in our Africa qualifiers and at the, the qualifier in Japan, but we, we're really desperate for, for success on, on a major scale, like in a big tournament, and what better than, than the Olympic Games. <laughs> The one thing I guess that would make a massive difference to us, I mean, people say money can't buy you happiness, but <laughs> it sure goes a long way to solving a lot of problems. We've, we've got the talent in our, in, our, um, in our group of players, but we perhaps don't have uh, the resources or the program which uh, allows us to compete on an equal footing with uh, the other top countries in the world. Um, and I think we're just as good as them, but um, they're, they're doing things and they're, and they're uh, spending money and time on things which we don't have, uh, have the ability to do currently. Yeah, I mean, this morning was <clears throat> was incredibly tough, knowing that after the, the final 16 we're going to get selected. Um, it's really tough when some of your best mates are guys who aren't going to be selected. So yeah, it was really, really emotional. This is my first Olympics, and uh, I had a flood of emotions today, man. It's been crazy, I haven't stopped smiling. Okay, I'm pretty excited to be going to the Olympic Games. It's my first one. I've always dreamed about it as a young hockey player and finally my dreams come true. I remember walking into that room, seeing that letter and I think I started crying at the moment there. I was really, it was tough, but as soon as I opened that envelope and saw my name, I think the first words we looked for are congratulations and the whole world is lifted. I mean, it's just, it's, it's what I've been dreaming about for, for years and 
to make my family proud. Uh, to play with my brother is exceptional. It's probably it's, that's, it's the best moment of my life, without a doubt. Yeah, I mean, the opportunity to go to the Olympic Games with your, with your brother doesn't come along too often. Um, I can just remember us playing hockey in the back garden when we were growing up, and I used to dress him up in ridiculous outfits and hit the hockey ball at him, and he didn't know at that time. Um, but yeah, and to be, to be going to the Olympics with him now is, yeah, I still can't, can't believe it. Eh? I mean, to sing the national anthem with him in our opening game at the Olympics is probably going to be the highlight of my career. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that.